Magnifique. How are you, sir? Eric, I'm fine, thanks. Everything is fine. So, today's topic. Sketching sections, sketching, creativity, modeling, modelers. How do we work with modelers? And most important thing, what is the best way, the best, the best method to be working with our colleagues that are modelers, whether they are working on clay or whether they are working on alias or virtual modeling, okay? Method, the flickering scores when are in right harmony with electricity for the lights. Ah, I'm, I'm shooting now at 30 FPS. If I put 60, it's a mess because I go like this. So 30, it's fine. Lower than 30, the quality of the image I saw that it gets lower. So I don't want to go below 30. I, I don't know, I should try 40 FPS, I don't know. You tell me, method. Tell me if I should make it a little higher, the FPS, or a little bit lower. So I can learn from you too. And thank you very much, by the way, because I'm learning all by myself, how it works, and sometimes it's not easy. Uh, Chetan, don't worry, you're gonna have fun with us tonight. You will see. Friday night show. The Friday night show, design talk, it's always something really nice especially in the second part because we talk a lot with questions and uh, you know there's a good way of giving you answers and and then there's a very nice dialogue uh ari hatton ciao ari how you doing ari i hope i'm pronouncing well your name mr hatton where are you from harry let me know i'm curious so far we have also somebody from jakarta which is uh, Mr. Vulcanoir, Vulcanoir, the Black Vulcan, I think, your, your nickname. Okay, so, when, uh, I don't know if you remember, I've been doing several sketches with section on it. Let me go, let me go and catch the sketch, okay? Just a second, because I have just to go in front of myself. I have uh, all my sketches are here, so, I'm gonna pick up those sketches and uh, and now with those sketches, besides, I'm gonna show you something in advance, okay? I'm gonna show you something that nobody saw yet, okay? Nobody. And in clay, I can also create mods. All right, Adam, that's cool. So you're gonna understand that and Adam, your comment makes me understand that you can interact with us and tell me also whether what I will uh, say tonight is correct or wrong. Harry White, uh, meeting you at the SPD. Yes, uh, New Zealand, all right, cool, Harry. I'm very happy. <laughs> cool. Okay, so I'll show you something, but uh, only for three seconds. But I can tell you that next week there will be full video of this video tutorial. Are you ready? One, two, and three. One, two, three. That's it. You cannot see more than that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But if you liked what you saw very shortly, stick to the channel because the full video I am editing, I did it today, and this weekend will be ready, and then I will program it. Okay, I will program it so that uh, it will be shown during the following week and it will be announced, of course. But you come and check, come and check the, 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 the channel. So you have seen this. I did this today during my... This is nice. Cool, funky. But anyway, let's go to the sections, okay? Some boats. I don't know if you saw, if you saw that. I'm, I'm really into a funny, funky trip with both, both design. I really would like uh, some really forced perspective. Something really forced perspective. Okay, I will, uh, I will uh, search for the right sketch and then so we, we can talk. So everybody saw this one, okay? So this is, let's imagine that this is a presentation sketch that has been chosen, okay, by our 
directors. So I am the designer and I know you are the designer, okay? This is your sketch. And I tell you, hey, you know what? Start making some sketches because we have to start very quickly to make a model. We start with a virtual model. After that, we're gonna mill out in clay, full scale, your virtual model, okay? And this is the main sketch that everybody loved. Therefore, you have this sketch in your hands. Uh, user frame rates and uh, Acapal with 25, 50. Let's uh, share the speeds here. Metal level, try different settings. Hope this helps. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Method. I will try. So I'm taking screenshots of your sketch. <laughs> okay. Storm. You bad boy. <laughs> okay. No problem. No problem. Really done sketch with everything done. I can't wait to see the future video. Cool, thank you, Michelangelo. So basically, hey, Pratmesh, ciao, how are you? I saw you now. That's cool, thank you to be, to be back. And, and we are 30, 33, that's great. So if you have this sketch, and now you have to think, all right, now I have to talk to this guy that is uh, Frankie, you know, that is Adam that is working with his computer and he needs my stuff to start his model, his virtual model. So how the hell am I gonna do? Well, it's very simple because you have to do this. Ciao, Steph, Dorian, ça va? How are you? So we just started. I, I hope that you didn't miss too much from the beginning. But uh, for you, I can tell you that uh, basically tonight we are talking about how I take a sketch that everybody liked and that, that probably my manager chosen to make it into a virtual model and probably a clay model. And how do I do from here to help who works on clay modeling or on virtual modeling, okay, like our friend Adam, that uh, he knows how to do it. Okay, and how, what should I do to help him and to help myself to understand every single detail of this sketch? So, as I said, we have to go and make sections. Sections. Because when we put sections, we understand exactly what's going on. Okay, and we know, we know that. Uh, the side is going to be in a certain way, our windshield, tension, you know, the sections, stuff, how we want it. And when Adam or, our, or another colleague, <laughs> uh, it's going, uh, ciao Ishant, uh, uh, it's going to see a sketch like this uh, with a side view, which will give him, you know, the real proportions. And he knows the sections then for them it's going to be a lot easier really a lot easier to understand how they start their model because the most important thing is for them it's really to start in a very correct way so when we do sketches like this or sketches like this then we really know what's going on on our side you know we really know all that stuff and somebody that works on clay modeling or on virtual modeling for him or for her those sketches it's gold believe me it's really gold andrew andrea 700 andrew 700 uh, grazie 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 andrea grazie keep on following keep on following so here we have two examples okay of how we in general, we ask, now, I have to tell you the truth, not all designers do that. Especially designers, young designers of the new generation, they don't sketch a lot of sections of their sketches. They just prefer to take a, a sketch like this one, in every view, with nice colors, beautiful stuff, and they just give it to the clay modeler, or they just give it to the virtual modeler, and they say, okay, start, I will pass by in a week. Now, if I have to tell you the way I think, the way I feel, and the way I learn, I can tell you that that's not a very wise way to do it. Because it's also 
uh, helping the team to waste time. Why? Because if someone like Adam, and maybe Adam, you can tell me, if somebody like Adam has just a nice sketch or a nice side view, you know, like for example, this one, let, let, me, let me take a side view because I have some uh, nice sketches here. So I will, uh, I will take, yeah, this one, for example. Let's take this side view, okay? If I only give this to our friend Adam, yeah, of course, he can scan this and he can start. But for him, it's going to be a little bit harder and more time consuming in understanding what was in your mind if he does not have a sketch three quarter front or three quarter back that is like this one. It's obvious because Adam and who works on clay, for them, the most important things are the main sections because between the sections, there is a surface. And when you put the surface on those sections, like we do on alias, you know, we put first the sections, then we make a four square, you know, four uh, side uh, 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 surface, you know, or we can make like a two rail section, two rails main sections and one crossing section to make a, a nice surface or we can blend surface. But the most important thing, they start from sections. So the section is not simply a section. The section has uh, its proportions. Because the way you draw the sections, you, you will have that white area where the light will hit your side body. You understand? With the way you put the vertical section here and the size of that vertical section, you determine your side body, the real side of your body, the type of uh, curvature you have, and therefore the type of reflections that you will have. For example, if I take this one, how it's that section here? I know in my mind, but it's not sketched here. You know, when you see this, this is on top, it's a very nice rounded cylinder on top. But what's happening at the bottom? It's different because look how the reflection is. Therefore means that here it's more vertical. And because this area is lighter, probably it's going inside a little bit before coming out again. So this is the whole design of this sketch. And if we don't have a three quarter front or a three quarter back with the very nice X sections on top of a nice, beautiful colored sketch, then of course you are in a situation that the poor guy has to push his head in guessing a lot of things when you already know. So just make that extra sketch. All right. So I take advantage to read some of your comments. Here we have Adam. It's true. The most critical place to understand are the hood, windshield. It's nice when sketches of lights are made up close. Yes, storm. Sir, I have only problem in 3D sketch. I, uh, I can't draw my imagination. Storm, this is simply because you need exercise. When you exercise a lot, and you will be able to sketch in, uh, in, in three-quarter front or three-quarter back or tip up, like uh, this one, for example, okay? Then your uh, creativity will come out because what it's missing to you, it's a little bit the, the practice of knowing exactly how to start making a good perspective. When you will gain that confidence, then your creativity will come out. There is no doubt about it. So it just exercise. Andrew, I only model on Ringo. Ringo, it's okay. It's a little bit limited, Ringo, eh, compared to Alias. But anyway, I understand. Ringo, it's not bad. It's used in some design studio, but I think that we start from zero with Alias. Alias, Alias is better, Andrew, because Alias has, it's so versatile. 
it's so versatile that uh, you have a lots of flexibility. Charlie from Canada is there. Ciao. Sto bene, grazie. Grazie, Charlie. I am fine, thanks. Uh, have cleaned some Perrier can ready to start a model. All right, cool. <laughs> so, Charlie, I don't know if you saw from the beginning. I was showing this sketch, you know, to show the section. Because today's topic is this one. Uh, ciao, Phil. Hey, Phil, how are you? I know you from uh, Eindhoven School, University. I'm fine. How are you? Thank you for being here with us. So, to draw sections, it's extremely important in order to understand this one. Now, this is a beautiful sketch. I like it. I mean, maybe not the design, but let's talk about the technique. The technique is really very sparkly, very crispy, very juicy, okay? Very nice. And uh, it's not complicated to understand the shape, but sometimes we can add lots of details that on a quick sketch we don't have, and that's normal that we don't have. So, what do I suggest? What do I suggest? I suggest always that uh, when we make the sketch in, uh, in or the same sketch, you see, but with uh, sections, then we can go and work in detail some of those sections to add some character lines, to add some negative sections, like uh, some BMWs, for example. And that's a second step of the detailing a sketch or a surface on your sketch to make sure that you can move on and you can learn more about your uh, creative moment to give value to your idea, to your sketch, to your project, okay? So it's part of development and that's very important. So I'm reading some of your comments uh, side sketch is needed to understand the size and proportion of the car. Exactly. So, the side sketch. Read the, what Adam wrote, okay? Because the guy is an expert. So, side view, correct proportions. He knows that this is the X0 where he will start building up all his virtual model and also clay model. And then he pick up from here to make sure that that proportion and those sections will be combined correctly so that when he puts the first quick shading images of his uh, virtual model, it will look at least 80%, 90%, like this one. And if it doesn't, then there is uh, the second step of teamwork between the designer and the design uh, modeler, that they together, they work to make sure that they change things together, looking at the three-quarter styling sketches and give that spirit, that feeling. Because the most important thing is the feeling. This sketch has been chosen because of the emotions that is given. When you make a, a, a clay model or a virtual model, you want to get the same feeling, the same emotions. So. You start from your side, you put all your sections, you know that your package is correct. We put every all the hard points, but then what happens? We go back to our color sketch and we say, okay, now that we have the whole thing together, okay? The package, the sections, the proportions, what is missing? Look at our sketches up on the wall. What is missing? And then it's thanks to the color sketches that you can get back into the model the subtle little modifications and updates to bring that artistic flair, that artistic feeling that is yours. And only you know it's yours. Therefore, that's how important it is to work together and to make the right steps so that there is no waste of time, no people getting pissed because uh, they are left alone and they don't know how to move on with uh, the alias model because sometimes I see that too, okay? And then at the end, uh, the designer comes up one week later, ah, no, but it's not like that, ah, no, but you have to change like this. That's not nice. Usually when I work with people that work on alias, we, we do a section together. 
Then I lead the guy or the girl to work on her own, okay? With all the indications I gave. And I go back and check two days later. Because you have to leave enough time to an alias modeler or to a clay modeler to have two days to think, reason, remember all the sections, all the sketches and everything. Remember what together you agreed in doing and let them the time to absorb that and put that into the model. So two days later, the model, more or less, it's updated. Because with Ali, it's kind of fast. With clay, it's also, when you make a sketch clay, it's kind of fast too, okay? Especially if it's a scale model. Then I go back. So you, tomorrow, as a designer, or if you are a designer, today, okay? You will go back two days later. You have to find an hour to spend with your mate, and make sure that in one week you go three times, especially the beginning, because that's the best way to accompany who is doing a job for you and make sure that there is no big uh, mistakes. Eleonora Ronchi, ciao! Come posso creare l'effetto cromato nel mio sketch? Eleonora, che bella domanda! Eleonora, um, Non so, forse non parlo inglese, comunque te lo dico in italiano. Hey guys, just one thing in English, ok? In, in Italian. E allora, ci sono tanti YouTube videos su questo mio canale dove faccio vedere queste cose. Se vuoi incomincia a guardare quello. Il, il martedì alle 6 del pomeriggio, io sono live qui su YouTube e faccio bozzetti, ok? Faccio queste cose qua. Quindi se vuoi puoi partecipare e vedere come io disegno, perché sono dei tutorial, dei live tutorial. Invece, se vuoi partecipare al mio corso online su Google Meet, contattami in privato sulla mia email Luciano Bove, tutto attaccato, chiocciola yahoo.com e no fr.com e io ti spiegherò come si fa, ok? Se sta, ci possiamo fare il giovedì e c'ho un periodo libero il venerdì mattina dalle 11 all'1 ok, I hope, spero di aver risposto ok, fammi sapere ah, oh, sorry <laughs> di nuovo sorry, l'amore, you wrote in Italian <laughs> so I spoke, I spoke in Italian ok, but anyway we understood each other, so ok uh, alright, so you have all the info Okay, if I can help you, I'll be very happy to help you. No problem. Let me see other uh, other questions or comments. Forget the skill. Uh, I'm good. I'm planning on visiting often. Okay, that's cool. Damian, and don't forget skill. Okay, Andrew, can I show you one render of an old model made on Reno? Yes, Andrew, you can show it, but do it on Instagram. Here it's impossible. Send it to me in chat in Instagram, okay? I'll, I'll give you an answer, as usually I do, okay? Prego, Eleonora, prego, 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 mille. No problem. My pleasure. Uh, Chetan, sir, is designing of cars started by side sketch of a car? Chetan, that's a very good question, because a long time ago, the side view was the most important view from which everybody, the great masters, you know, they used to start their design. Let's take up, for example, Giugiaro, Giorgetto Giugiaro, or Pininfarina, Bertone, uh, Gandhi, Marcello Gandini, and uh, Aldo Sessano, those are the Italians that I know, the great masters, but they started like that. Then there was uh, the design school, in the 30s and the 40s, especially from America, they start going directly with, uh, with uh, you know, perspective like that and go around an idea. And after they would put that onto a package, which means starting from a side view. The problem is that when you just work like that, without uh, having a real perception of the proportion, the right proportion, what happens is that uh, you lose the, the freshness of your sketches because they were not made for that type of package. 
you don't have to start the side view 100% of package. No, you don't have to. But you should do something that is close to the package so that all the creativity that you want to develop, it's already correctly adapted to the right proportion that you will have. And that's the best way to do it. And I agree, the side view, it's the most important. And it's not a case that I also, being Italian, okay, always start with a side view. I can show you this one, for example, side view. You see, to study proportions, all right? For this uh, futuristic model with uh, some colors that have been inspired by the great Sydney, the great Sydney, you know? Or also sketches like this, where you get an idea of the proportion of front and the mass, you know, the mass that you have, the, the proportion of the front grill, the, the lights, all that stuff. So um, that's something that uh, it's strongly advised from me. Okay, start from a side view. Uh, sir, can you give a name of materials that someone can use for skill model of the car, professional clay? Is it expensive in many areas? Uh, no, uh, no, Dashvan, I'm sorry, I, I don't know. I don't know how to help you on that. No. De Désolé, I'm sorry. Je suis désolé, je ne peux pas. Uh, Adam, Adam, no, Vulcan War first. Uh, no, there is Storm. Sir, as a beginner car designer, how much car we need to design in a day? No, Storm, you don't have to say how many cars. You have to sketch. Look, today I had my online courses. So I had the three different students and uh, I did two sketches for each one of them, okay? So I did six today, all right? Sometimes I can do more. Sometimes I just do one. The most important thing is the exercise, not the number, because you're gonna get stressed. You get the stress in your head. Oh shit, I have to do, I have to do 50. By today no 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 no. at the beginning especially at the beginning start sketching follow my tutorials follow other people's tutorial like bear kaplan you know michael leonello fabio ferrante drawings which are fantastic spencer nugent you know sketch uh sketch a day uh, is also here on youtube uh pine stripe you know on instagram he's also on youtube Check all those people, see how we do, and try to get, you know, try to imitate. Then little by little, you will develop what's going to become your own style and your capacity to draw, your skills. Vulcan Noir, learning both car design and beats Italia. What a great live session. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Vulcano. Vulcano. Adam, sometimes the side sketch may be omitted. This can be done if you know in advance what dimension the car should have. Yeah, if you have a technical package, usually people receive, people like uh, that work on, on virtual modeling, so on, on, on a station, they receive the technical package, okay? The, the engine, the, the two seats, uh, the H point, the little Oscar, our favorite Oscar mannequin, okay, that sometimes we crash around with the steering wheel position, the, the, the position of the, the cl front cluster so that uh, for the eyes is perfect. You know, then we go the, the front um, overhang, the rear overhang, the main Hyatt, which is given from the head plus uh, the extra limit that is given because of bouncing, you know, therefore you, you know where the, the roof should be. Once you have all that, you have a technical thing in your computer. Then you get your sketches, and therefore with those sections, someone like Adam knows how to place that section according to the whole art points. In Y, which is this, Y, and in X, which is this, okay? So, I hope I answered. And I commented correctly what Adam was saying. Maybe a weird question. Yes, Phil, don't worry. We are all weird here on this channel. But is the professional work you do different from uh, 
the YouTube demos as an expo expo exploration looking for the right shape idea. Uh, no, when uh, when I was okay today, I'm not anymore designing and sketching at work because I'm a design manager. I have uh, management meetings, uh, presentations, uh, planning, budgets, and stuff like that. So I cannot do that. I can check what some designers do or some design director, design managers do uh, eventually on the projects that I manage. And together we can discuss uh, during presentations or internal presentations whether this is better to modify or not, stuff like that. Okay. But at the same time, when I was a designer, when I was sketching, when I did my Fiat 600 or the Tweezy or stuff like that, I used to sketch more. And uh, there are some of my drawings are here. Wait a moment, maybe you can see. You see some of the some of the work. It's there, here, there. Okay. So those um, those sketches were made were made with the same methodology. With the same methodology. So yes, you are there. You have the whole day. You sketch and you learn how you know how you want to modify, then you show to other designers, you show to your boss, and then you learn from that and you update. Then you have uh, presentations that are internal pre step presentations that are made uh, in a way that you, before the final presentation, you can update your uh, sketching, your idea to improve it, to make it better. Therefore, there are lots of feedbacks, and then you have to Try to understand which one gave you the right feedback and what type of interpretation of those feedbacks, feedbacks you can give and apply them on your uh, sketching evolution. Uh, uh, so, Phil, I hope I answered to you. All right. Uh, thank you, Sir Francis. Okay, good. Nuke. Ciao, Nuke. SRT. My boss has a strong belief that design should have a good modeling skill. What's your thought? Okay, I will answer to you, don't worry. When I was doing my project, I didn't do a side sketch. Okay. Michelangelo, question a bit of a topic, but no far. So what do you think of always reflecting a color onto the car skin? Because it seems that many professors note it's a drawing mistake. No, it's not a drawing mistake. I, I just did it here. If you have a car that is reflecting the environment, so it's not opaque, then if this, there is a big red wall, then a part of that is going to be reflecting onto the car. It's not a mistake. I don't know who is your teacher, but I can assure you it's not a mistake. And I learned this in school. So, you see, look at this. Look, this is the floor that is reflecting in this section of the, the old Citroën DS. Look at the section. You see? The section is going inside, therefore, therefore it's bending and it's being, being like a mirror of those uh, black lines on the floor because the section is very straight. It's just a surface tilted, you see? So why shouldn't I do it? If I don't do it, uh, I am wrong. Okay, so uh, I want to go back to the question of that Nuke was asking. Okay, Nuke, yes, in my opinion, if a designer knows how to model, not to make a professional model like clay models, but if he knows how to model in clay or a little bit in alias, it's always better than not knowing. The reason is very simple. Now listen to me, all of you, very careful. When you're a designer and you do your sketches, you work B-dimensional, B-dimensional, two dimensions. This one is B-dimensional, okay? This one is B-dimensional, even if it's a perspective, which gives the illusion of three dimension, but it's B-dimensional. When you start making a model from your sketches, you go from B-dimensional to three-dimensional. And when you get into the three dimensions, a lot of things will happen that you, will, you never thought about. And I tell you one, and I'm sure that Adam will say, yeah, Luciano is right. Look at this point. This point. Oops, this one. 
Now, Adam, you can help me out. This is the most critical point when you start making a real model, whether in clay or on virtual, when you go from this sketch where it looks perfect and when really you see it in model. And you will spend hours to make sure that that, that, those, that, that that's a knob, okay? It's a crossing of a lots of surfaces. And to make sure that everything goes just fine, you have to work on that in alias and in clay many, many times. Adam, please help me out. Say that I am right. So this is a clear example that if you are a designer that knows how to work clay, you already prepare to that. And because you made that experience already, like I did many times, because I like to work on clay too, what happens when you mill the model, you go and check all the hard points for the three-dimensional problematics because you already know more or less how you should solve the problem before you watch the entity of your problem and after you go and you will know already what you have to do. And that's the result is that you don't waste time. Yeah, it's a killer, exactly. Okay, for example, there is a red background, but there is no red on the car. Uh, is that for just for saying the mood or is it a mask? What do you think? Uh, wait, wait a moment, wait a moment. I'm, 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 I'm skipping some uh, topic or background. Uh, okay, uh, continue a new question. In my design school, we learn and is encouraged to do both sunny and modeling in larger. Yes, Vulcano, Vulcano, you're right, bravo. Your school is doing right. Yeah, Adam, Adam, presente. Connecting the mask to the apier is always the most difficult model. Thank you, Adam. That's something that on the sketch we never see because it's a flow of lines. You know, we do everything so cool. But then when you get into reality, it's another story. Uh, thank you very much. Okay, so Phil is happy about my answer. So can you please give me some tips for design wheels from different views? And Storm, check my tutorials. I'm doing that too. Tuesday we will do it, okay? Storm, remember me. Tuesday, on, during my live, I will do it, okay? All right. Next Tuesday, live, sketching live. I will do it. Vikash! Uh, before Vikash, there is method. Is the sketch for sale? Sketch, I love to have it framed. No, method. Why are you for sale? It's going to cost money. You want this one? I can send it to you. But it's... it's. I'm not going to give as a present because I spent three hours here. But then it's going to be expensive. No. There are pictures. You can print the photo from uh, Facebook. Okay, I can send you the photo via Instagram if you want, and then you print it and you can put it on your... Ah, if you want, you can buy cheaper, because if you buy the original, it would be around 300 euros, to be honest. But if you want on Society6, let me write down here, because uh, you can get there for uh, around 30, 30 euros. Go to this site. Look. Society6.com Okay? Search for my name, Luciano Bove or Car Design Education Tips, I think. And you will find my store where there are a lot of stuff that I do like this cup, you see? Like this cup that I made with my logo. And you will find all those stuff. There are lots of things uh, like uh, t-shirts and and if you like, you will find also lots of my paintings, my sketches on canvas. So small size, big size, whatever you like, okay? Let's do it that way. So you don't spend too much money. <laughs> All right. So, Vikash, uh, I have seen many professionals making projects which start from ideation. And, may, and make fi uh, first sketches which uh, then they make after the model. Yes, it's true. Uh, then take 3D model as underlay to make uh, to make it to a render uh, right thing to do. I'm confused. Uh, a, a Vikash, you're right. That's what we do. You have to understand there are several steps during a project development. Okay. 
So, when we make the first virtual model, the first model, okay, in, in Alias, many things are not correct because it's the beginning. And uh, to help the claim, the scusa, to help the Alias modeler, what do we do? We ask them to make screenshots in perspective. We have our original original sketch right then we take our original sketch on the wall we take those uh, photos screenshots in different perspective we see the sections from alias model and then we can update those because when we update those we can help the alias modeler our colleague to improve communicating in an easier way, therefore sometimes also making sections or just make a nice new sketch, what's missing in this model? You understand? That's why. And this is something that you do in loops, back and forth, you know? It's not that you do only once. Back and forth. Okay, I, Vikas, I hope I answered. So it's nothing to be confused. It's normal. It's a, it's a method. Technology gives us that opportunity to make a screenshot and to draw on top of it. Why not? Why not taking that advantage? You know? Uh, all right, good. Uh, okay, method. Cheers, sir. I'll check it out after this lecture. Okay, okay, method. Check it out. There's a lot of stuff I did. Uh, so you will find Adam. There are at least five areas to model in place of the April and everything has to be done in 3D. Yes, yes. There are several things. First of all, you have to know that today we have a, a new rule, not just today, already a few years, that is for the pedestrian crash test to make sure that we don't kill anybody with the small speed, okay? Shh, small speed. It's with the low speed. So what happens? Oh, in that, in this area, in this uh, area, there is a special type of section that we must respect, so that the head of the people, when it's gonna go and hit that point, it's not gonna break. Maybe, maybe the poor guy or the poor girl, it's going to get uh, some uh, bleeding, but uh, will not die and we will not go to the hospital probably. Okay, so it's also right process in the personal level while making projects. Yes, Vikas, it's part of the process, you know. There are some people do it, some people don't do it, yeah. But myself, I did sometimes, because sometimes it's faster, you know. It's faster also. So, uh, that element, and also some other parts, like especially the front hood, you know, where there are so many rules to respect in terms of crash testing, testing, uh, it takes uh, specific sections that after we have to retouch, but uh, making sure that the hard points is always respected, okay? Okay, so I hope that this first part, now what time is it? Yeah, it's already seven. Okay, so Gennaro Vurchio, Another Italian. Luciano, there is a paper version of your sketchbook. A paper version of your sketch. Ah, oh, you mean my ebook? No, only PDF. And I explain to you why, Gennaro. To make the same PDF that has a cost of 13 euros, if I make it uh, in paper, like a book, it's going to cost more than double. And because I'm making those ebooks the lowest price possible so that a lot of people around the world can buy it, even in countries where one dollar counts, I've decided that the, for me, with my style, the way I am, they're all going to be in PDF. So that people from four dollars to a maximum of $15, they can buy 75 pages of illustrated tutorials with all the step-by-step. -step. 
And besides, uh, Gennaro, if you have a PDF format, it's always on your device, in your telephone, everywhere. When you are in school, you don't remember a perspective or a rule. You go and open up my PDF, you check the page, and, and you have the answer. It's always with you. All right? I hope that I answered to your question correctly. Vikas, thank you very much, sir. It was big confusion which you had to clear. No, don't worry, don't worry. It's, uh, it's fine. Okay, so, first of all, let's take a break. If you want to offer me a coffee, you have the super chat and super sticker. Don't forget, huh? <laughs> all right. Okay, so let's get into the second part of this design talk. Now, I said that uh, we are talking about sketching, sections, alias, clay modeling and stuff. And we know that the design schools, when you do car design, or transportation design department, sometimes also when you do industrial design department, you learn about alias modeling, play modeling, but also modeling in general, like a plexiglass, wood, metal, you know, stuff that, uh, uh, okay, Gennaro, thanks, cool. So, also other models, you can make models, you can make lamps, you can make, uh, I don't know, uh, gadgets, Sony devices, TV, uh, telephones, whatever. So you learn how to do other things that in general are done by other people that go and study modeling, professional modeling, in other schools, in modeling schools. Vulcano, as an Indonesian, where many imported books uh, that cost on average 50 find Mr. Ross book to be very excellent. Yeah, it's very cheap compared to other books with the same subject. Thank you, thank you. In my ebook, it's uh, just in case you want to check now, lulu.com, search for my name, Luciano Bove, and you will find my page on lulu.com where you can uh, buy the book. Remember, if you buy car sketching tips, book the one with the orange and black okay big cover with me on top of the cover you don't need to buy the other ones because the other ones are a part of that one if you don't want to spend all that money and you want to buy just for what you are interested like wheels or reflections only one specific topic then buy the other ones that are cheaper okay but if you want to buy everything together just buy one car sketching, which is the most expensive, but it's only 13 euros or dollars, I remember. Salut, ça va, Florent? Fleur. Merci, merci d'être ici avec nous ce soir. Tu va bien? Cool. I'm happy you are there. Je très content que tu es là aussi. Très bien. Okay, so let's go back to what we were talking about before, all right? So we are in the second step of our design talk, and we are analyzing the fact that the, who is learning car sketching, car design, to become a designer, is also learning modeling in different ways, whether it's alias, virtual, or whether it's uh, clay, or uh, any other type of materials. Charlie, model, railways, buildings, bridges, species, all can be made from household junk. <laughs> Charlie, it's incredible. You guys, you should go and check on his Facebook uh, page. He makes beautiful train, uh, railways, and, and train uh, uh, models. They are really fantastic. Yes, there's a documentary about Flavio Manzoni and the Ferrari Portofino. Yeah, Flavio. Flavio was my colleague. We were a colleague when we were working in Fiat together many years ago. Flavio is great. Great. Great guy. Great talent. And the most important thing is that when he's in Ferrari, we finally have really some beautiful and exciting modern Ferraris. Okay. So, we were saying, you have to understand that when you are in a class of 20 people, 15 people, or even 12 people, okay and you are getting ready to go out of the school which means that you have your portfolio ready 
and you want to go out, there is a chance that you might not get a job. Because in 15 people of a class, the only best three, four will get the job right away. This is something that we all know. A lot, I say about this, I talk about this many times. So you have to consider that if you feel that you are not between the best top students and you are an average, you have to consider yourself to recycle what you have learned, maybe on something that is likely off you know perimeter of the creativity but that belongs always as a field and as a profession to design a car design studio or an industrial design studio therefore it becomes very important the fact that you know how to do other things like modeling okay so i would like to know if some of you have questions about this pb mashti how working in a company where I am doing my work from uh, sketching to fabrication, manufacturing, talking to clients will help me build my career. How oh, working a company where I am doing my work? Yes, of course. Uh, Majesty, if I do, uh, uh, Frank, uh, no, I don't know Frank uh, personally, but Frank and, and myself, we are connected via social networks, but I never had the pleasure really to to meet him personally. He, 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 he's a little bit older than me, and when I was in Art Center, he already left. So we never crossed each other's. Uh, so CB, you are saying, correct me if I'm wrong, you are saying, um, if you work and you follow everything from the beginning until the end, until product is in production, if this type of path of experience it's very formative for you in order to form yourself as a very good design and design manager. The answer is yes. And that's what I do since 20 years, you know? So yes, of course it is. Tell me if I understood right and if I correctly answer to your question. All right, thanks. So let me see, do you know, okay, already, Vulcan, can I see your Facebook page? Yes, all right, that's cool. So we're making friends here. Huh? Vulcano from Jakarta is getting, it's becoming friend of Charlie from Canada. That's cool. Can I send you my projects on LinkedIn or Behance because Instagram is not working for me? Uh, Adam on LinkedIn, send me few, a uh, few please, not too many. Few images, low resolution. Don't send me stuff that is uh, incredibly big because it's going to block my telephone and my computer, right? So you can do it, no problem. Uh, and is there a company you wish to work with? Uh, Irek, uh, come on, you, when you ask that question, it makes me mad. I work for Renault Group, and I work especially for a, a Chinese uh, brand uh, since uh, almost three years now. I'm responsible for design, uh, operations and design uh, management uh, projects uh, of a Chinese brand, which is a joint venture with Renault Group. Uh, Charlie, molte grazie. Charlie, molte prego. Uh, okay, good, good, great. So, uh, hey, the Brasileiro. Hey, Jorge. Obligado. <laughs> How are you? All right, from Brazil, cool. All right, so do you have any question about the thing that you could recycle eventually yourself in working on Alias or in working for Clay? I tell you one thing, I have few of my ex-classmates, um, uh, uh, but more than them, some ex-students, so uh, younger generation, that uh, became uh, top managers in small studios that offer alias services, alias modeling services. Because they said, hey, I cannot find a job as a car designer. Three, four of them already went in front of, on top of me, in front of me, and got the best jobs. I don't want to work for somebody that is not paying me, who is too small of a company. I am very good in making uh, alias models. You know what? I'm gonna try to make to sell myself as an alias modeler. And those people are living really, really well. And they're always with designers. 
So in a way, they are very happy. Of course, they are not designers, 100%. But their critical eye as a, uh, old design uh, uh, students and as uh, alias modelers gives them the, the right combination, the, it's a, the right cocktail to make sure that they can talk to designers and understand designers better than people that just go to any school in a very cold way just to learn, you know, just to learn the fact that they will become modelers and without any artistic background. So there is a big difference, there is a big advantage. So you should consider that, really. And Adam, I got your uh, LinkedIn, I saw my telephone. So I got notified that you signed after the, the live, later on, uh, and after that I drank some uh, water <laughs> because I'm starting to get thirsty. I will go with, uh, with tranquility and see your stuff, okay? Promise. All right, uh, uh, from Brazil, all right, sir, would you like to teach Alias in live session? No, I cannot teach Alias. I don't know how to work on Alias. Uh, Alias is the generation after mine. When I left school, uh, Alias uh, was beginning in, uh, in Art Center. In Europe, we did not have it. In Europe, arrived two years later. And uh, I know how, to, how it works because I work with a lot of people that work on Alias, and after 20 years of Alias modeling, I learned, by, I know what they are doing, what they are doing, you know, and I can help also. But if you give me the mouse, I am not capable alone to do anything. That's how it is. But I can work really well with an Alias modeler. In fact, they are very happy when they work with me. Because I, because I, I, I know the problem they are having, and therefore, I try to remember which is probably the best alternative solution to make that surface or to create that reflection or to change that section without creating defaults on the side, on the tangents and all that stuff. So it's, it's quite, quite nice, actually. Please, okay, Vulcano, in my industrial design school, right now, we are very focused with user customer, unfortunately. I'm confused on what skill to focus on in the car industry uh, okay different car size different uh, fenders like in sports car it's cool and the class fits like uh, lines okay Vulcano Vulcano look every period of life like every period of 10 years it's like a cycle of life and every cycle of life has its uh, trends, new behavior, new gadgets, new things, good things and bad things, and human behavior changes according to all those elements. So every generation is confronted with things that are a little bit different, or sometimes many di very different from the past. For example, my son' life is, in a way, different, and the way he looks at life is different. The way I was looking at, at life or my life at the age of seventeen. At the age of seventeen, I was just a student with few friends, and he's already thinking that uh, in few months he will go to make one year in a foreign country in school. So he's already thinking I to I to leave, uh, how I have to be connected. I have to I'm learning a new language. They already speak English a little bit. So you understand all these things create new things, trends, mainly trends. And there are also new professions that come out. Therefore, what happens is that all those things have a very strong influence in the business model that changes according to the air and according to those experiences. And today we are in a period where marketing has a very strong value because everything is burned very fast. I make a sketch, I make a video on YouTube. After 48 hours, nobody cares anymore. You know, 
we make a car, but after a year and a half, a year, we have to think already to the project that will come after. And we have to start. You make a telephone, a new telephone, after six months it's obsolete. And you need to change telephone. You make softwares, after three months software it's already kind of uh, déjà vu. And we have, we, because we already have a new release. So, because of all this, your school, at work, big companies, to make sure they don't waste the opportunity of conquering markets, which means business and which means money, they change a little bit their behaviors so trends become more important. Marketing um, uh, methodology and strategy become stronger, more aggressive. And therefore, the people that are behind all that, they make the real objects, the real car, the real object, the gadgets, uh, whatever, they also stress the same way because of this new cycle and those new strategies. So that's uh, maybe in five years will be different. All right, I hope I answered to your question. Storm, because different cars are different. Okay, all right. Ishant, so sir, alias is compulsory in today's time for car design. I don't want to say that alias is compulsory, Ishant. Don't, let's not exaggerate. I'm saying that is, uh, that is important to have a notion, okay, as a car designer and a design student that have a good notion of alias. That's, I'm, I'm saying that. I'm not saying that you must be the best alias model. Because there are alias models in every car design studio company. But the fact that you can develop on your own the capacity of working a little bit with alias so that you can master, for example, sketch in 3D of your sketches and you can do this in alias, that could be a very good thing to tell when you present your portfolio to find a job. Because today it is a plus. It is a very positive thing to do. Okay. Adam, knowledge of 3D modeling helps to better understand space. Yes. This helps in making better sketches. Yes, that's true. That's true. You know, working on alias with uh, alias modelers, I, I did several interiors. But to sketch interiors, I learned through alias. Because when you have that box that, that, and you master the sections in space and you make the dashboard and then the central furniture, the dashboard, the, 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 the door panel and everything, then you really see it. And the more you do it, the more you're understanding interior, the proportions, where the things must be, the hard points. And today, when I sketch an interior, it's easier for me. Thanks also to the cooperation with Alias Modelers doing interiors for me. Uh, IREC is the perfection of a design, make it interesting. Uh, it's not the perfection of a design, it's a combination of the several things. The most important is proportion. You know, our, our friend Scott Robertson, and I'm sure you know him, if you don't, go and check it out. Scott Robertson, excellent designer, great teachers. He has the YouTube channel since a long time. He's an art center faculty teacher. And this guy is a, a maestro, okay? He is from my school too. Scott Robertson says three things, and I agree, 100%. You have first proportions, right? Then you have your volumes and shapes, which is a, your design, your idea, which means the sections, you know? And then you have details, which is a refinement. So if you follow those three steps, every time you look, you judge a, a sketch, a car or something like, uh, I don't know. Let me find another sketch. I have several sketches here. What do I have here? 
Yeah, this one. This one, I like it. I like it a lot, this one. This one is cool. So, when you look at that, you, you see proportions. You judge proportions. Shapes and details. Not too many details here. Then, in that case, you know which are the, the, the main uh, the key factors that help you to say whether that thing is good or bad. Okay. Uh, thank you, sir. Remember Tuesday for uh, tip on wheels, and now I have to go. Okay, ciao, Storm. Ciao. Good night. Good night to you. Bye bye. Charlie, you can easily learn SketchUp. Uh, it's all about push and pull, the basic of 3D modeling. Yeah. Scourge, I can't concentrate in my online class because of sketching. First, in my rough notebook during in it. Suraj, you should do your your sketching online with me and then you will see if you can get uh, concentrated or not if you are interested send me an email luciano bove at yahoo.com and uh, i uh, you could do a nice experience on in my online class which is cheap too <laughs> vulcano alias is quite expensive but yeah i know the license is expensive Fusion, yeah, Fusion, you can also see the free, uh, there are some free versions, there is a free version of Alias now, eh? because I have a friend that told me I have a free version of Alias and I can, uh, I can use it, uh, so it's a little bit limited, but there is. CAD is bad, like Katya, no, forget it. Uh, don't make anything with Katya or item search because that's not for designers. One cube, two proportion, three over appearance, four details. Yeah, exactly, Adam. Thanks. Okay, so guys, so far, what do you think about this uh, about this uh, Tuesday, about uh, about this Friday <laughs> Friday show design talk? Yeah, the Aria student version. It's free, yes. It's a little bit limited, but it works. Vikash is right. Okay, I go and drink a little bit of water because you didn't offer me a coffer. Therefore, I had to go and take some water. I'll be back, okay? Just less than a minute. Stay there. Write to me in the comments how you feel, okay? How you feel about this uh, Friday show. Okay, here I am. All right. So, let me read some uh, comments. White first is proportional and second surface in this detail. Chetan, very simple. I answer to you. Proportion is the main shape. And there you decide whether you want to have a long nose, a short nose, high car, tall car, very low car like a sports car stuff like that once you have that then you can decide what type of sculpture you do on your proportions okay once you've done that then you start getting into detailing cb it's my pleasure my pleasure okay thank you vulcan War. thank you but uh, uh, Chetan, I I'm going to make a quick demo for you. Even if on, on, on uh, Fridays I never sketch, okay? But I'm going to do it for, uh, for you very quickly, okay? So that uh, you can understand probably a little bit better, okay? I just need to activate my top camera that probably you you see but i don't know if i can do it no i can't do it because i don't have a, uh i don't have uh well, what did i do i touched something i don't know okay anyway i'm gonna show you something okay i take this
and I lost what I had in front of my screen. I touched something with my fingers and therefore, okay, but anyway, look, I'm going to do something very simple, okay, very simple. First of all, I have to go back. I have to go back into this uh, screenshot so that I can see so that I can see your comments, unless I don't see your comments. So just give me one minute. All right. Okay. I can see. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. So you can still see me. All right. So look, I'm going to make the number step. Step number one, which is proportions. Okay. So Chetan, I show you. So first of all, I make my wheels, okay? Let's say that I have a, a car that is kind of long, all right? All right? Like that. So that's the first thing I do. I prepare my base, okay? And uh, I know that it's a car. I have my four wheels inside you, one point perspective, okay? And then I know that this car has more or less that pro these proportions. So I, I just make a... I just make my... Oh, thank you, Charlie! Wow, you crazy, man! Thanks! You offer me much more than a coffee! You offer me a pizza! The pizza, thank you! Alexander Michael, hey Luciano, I couldn't help but notice the guitars in the back. Have you ever had a God design one? No, not yet. But those are my guitars, yes. If you go on Luciano Bove, thank you very much, Charlie. Thank you. Thanks. Charlie gave me an excellent tip. Super sticker, number one fan. Thank you, always. Apesionados. And I appreciate very much. It's a, it's a friendship. It's not just following, you know? It's a friendship to me. Okay, so look at this. You see? Cheetah, I hope that you are cheating. I hope you are watching. So this is a proportion. That's just proportion. Nothing else. Tonight I'm gonna eat a very nice pizza. <laughs> very good one. So now that I have the proportions, I, I try to fix the proportions because there are some problems here. So first of all, I want to have a short note like a BMW and a longer back. So I do that. And to do this, I have to change my windshield. And I have to make my back a little bit longer. Okay. So look, I'm changing that now. Now, I will show you. You see? Now I fixed my proposal. Look, it's different. You see? Look at before. Before, my windshield was here. And now it's, it's here. You see? And also the front. The front is shorter, before it was here. And the back, I made a little bit longer. Look, here instead of here. Also my wheels, I made a little bit bigger. So this is the step number one, the proportions. Now let's suppose that this is the we like it, okay? Hang it, Catalan, do you have videos on driving cars in perspective? Oh my God, hang it. Hey guys, did you did you read what he wrote? Kanye, Kanye, there are 300 videos on this channel where you can find only tutorials. <laughs> okay, you might be. I think you are new to my to my channel. First of all, subscribe. Okay, I hope that a lot of you subscribe. Those that are not uh, my aficionados, and then go and check on my channel. You will find a lot of uh, tutorials every Tuesday. I make live tutorials, okay? Every perspective, every side view, coloring, you know, all this stuff, all this stuff, dear Kenneth, all this stuff, it's production 
of my videos, okay? So you will find it. All right, so now that we made this, I apply the step number two, the surfaces, okay? So the surface, let's say I do something quick, huh? So surface is like this, like this, like that, okay? Okay. And to to make this, I will use a, a a marker. Okay, I use a marker because in this way I can see better my shapes. So I put the reflection. My shadow. All right, I make my wheels. Then I take a, a very light marker. Uh, like, I, I pick up this one, this light green, okay? Thank you, Kiran. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you for being here with us today. And then I go and put my shading for my body side. Very quick, okay? I just want to nail down my shape. Just so that I understand how is this, uh, this car. Okay, are you ready? I'm going to show you. Look, now we have a car. Now you can say, yeah, but I don't like it. I don't like it either. But this is just to show you the section, you see? So if I draw a section here, you see? Now we have sections. And after this step, we can put details. And when I say detail, for example, I can add some front light and back lights. So let's put the back light. A little bit like Audi. Okay. Then let me make a, the front light. Okay, let me make a, the front windshield on top a little bit more around because that one was a little bit too, you know, too pointy. I don't like that too much. Let me put the door cuts. So I take a quick marker to make a, you see, and now we are starting to put some uh, details, the lights, from light, the cut lines, the doors, you know, and then we could move on, move on, move on, making, for example, the wheels, okay? You see? Okay, so this is a quick example cheating that I did for you so that I think now it's a little bit more clear, you know, the explanation of the hierarchy of the three steps. Adam, uh, if you make sketches, you use curved lines. If you model in 3D, you also use curved lines, yes. If you can model in 3D, when you sketch, you can understand where the line should be to understand the sketch. Exactly. Bravo. A lot of people that don't have that experience, you know what they do? They make a, their sketch. 
you know, I, I show you in perspective. I make a quick perspective here. Okay, like that. Let's say that it's something like this. Okay, and the perspective is not bad. They do it like that, they put the reflection, everything. The shadow, you know. They do it like that, okay? Like that. But what they don't understand is that a car is not flat. A windshield is not flat. The back can be a little bit more in tension with the section. And that comes from what Adam just wrote. Adam said it very clearly. If you make a sketch, you use curved lines. Curved lines. So I always say, come on. Your front should be at least like that. And also your windshield should be at least like that. Look. You see? So that's the thing, you know? Okay. So. You, you welcome Chetang. I'm very happy. Okay, so. I don't know. What time is it now? 7.30. Anybody has a particular type of a question to ask me? We are still 32. You know, today's, I think it's the best design talk ever because I've kept a, a lot of people for a long time. And that's very nice. Sometimes we are only 10 people, 11. Now we are 33 before we were 39. So I'm so satisfied, so happy. And thank you very much. Remember that if you did not subscribe to my channel, please subscribe to the channel. You won't regret it. <laughs> you, you will be happy about it, okay? I promise. Now I let you listen a little bit of my, of my music. Let's see if it comes out. I don't know if it comes out. No, it doesn't come out. Yes. At yeah, Michelangelo. What's well, not bad? 36, yes. Okay, so this one I did with the, the orange guitar. The one is in the back. And I have a, a zoom pedal which makes uh, music mix. Ciao, Pratsmesh. Ciao. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Okay. Okay, Chetan, I hope that you will stay with me, okay? Stay with us. This is growing as a community now. And Chetan, I am on Telegram. So for those that don't know, I am on Telegram. Car design sketching tips. You will find it. Okay? I am on Telegram. Adam, sometimes the sketch does not have to be correct with the perspective. You get the so-called fisheye effect. Yeah. Fisheye effect, it's this one. I have a sketch I made yesterday. I will show you. I'm searching for the sketch. Yeah, that it's, I need this one. It's not very nice, but it's a very push perfect, very extreme. You see? Uh, I am 16 and I believe that I should be focusing on main sketch in this. Uh, is it? Yes, Alexander. Yes. Charlie, my friend, I have been using StreamYard for my reason. It's free and allows multiple cameras and chat line yeah sure you're right you're right alexander i'm gonna talk to you now alex you are 16 you have the whole time 
new whole time. I mean, if I were six, when I was 16, if I had all those news, you have the whole time to prepare yourself really well until you will be ready to apply for uh, school, okay, for design school. So, sketch, sketch, sketch. Follow my channel, follow other people's channel. If you want to have my online course, no problem, contact me, I will tell you, it's on Thursday, from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. every Thursday, French time, so be careful to your local time, French time, and I teach sketching. I have already another guy, 16 years old, from India. So, if you are interested, Luciano Bove at yahoo.com. So you can write to me and I will explain how to do to participate. But if you don't want to, that's fine. Follow this channel, get uh, subscribe and follow me, okay? And check the step-by-step -step I make with during my tutorials. Okay, can it uh, method? Uh, what song is that? I made it method. I, I made the song. Look, listen, I made it with my guitar. I hope you like it. Uh, today I learned so much from you, Mr. Redmond. Uh, Satan, I'm very happy. Thank you, very happy. Thanks. Kenneth, make a Discord so we can have everyone in community. No, Kenneth, not Discord for me. I, I am thinking to go on, on uh, Twitch. Let me know if you think Twitch is a good idea. Please write. Because I already opened my channel. But there is no video so far. Not yet. Twitch, do you think it's good or bad? Tell me if it's good or bad. Explain to me why. Because I need your help. I really need your help. Write down, write down, write down. Okay, anybody is writing. Yes, it's really very nice song. Sorry. Thank you, Ishan. Great flow in the melody. Also, we need more of that while sketching. Okay, I will make more of this with my guitar. Now it's finished. <laughs> I, uh, I will make more with my guitar. Don't worry, I promise. I will. Um, while sketching, you prefer to play the acoustic guitar or classical? No, electric guitar, Adam. Electric guitar. Yeah. Uh, feel yes twitch well, good people can share the sketches easily so on twitch we can do that but that's very nice so that means i can make a review for you you can show your sketch i can do some live reviews suraj yes it's nice then we can learn from each other as well also so you are saying that twitch is a good idea all right because I still don't understand the potential of Twitch, you know? So you know what I'm gonna do? Okay. On Twitch, my name is, it's, my channel is called exactly uh, like uh, Instagram. Luciano Bove, one, with a number, okay? Go and check it out. Tomorrow evening, I think that I will go live, okay? I will show some of my drawings as a first video. And if you, if you want, you can join. Uh, Arianna Prandin. No Twitch, no. Twitch, no. She's, she's saying no. That's a bad idea. Then we can learn from each other. Okay, Arianna, why? Why is, is it bad? Alexander Michael. Thank you, Luciano. I also recently got a looper pedal. Yeah, Alexander, the Zoom pedal, it's fantastic. It also has the pedal for the wah wah. I made few few songs that look a little bit like uh, uh, how can I say Hendrix stylish, you know, a little bit. Not like him because he's super, but 
that feel like that be a group chat on telegram or something from your community to share our work with each other fans uh, I don't want to do more than, than that because unless I'm gonna be completely busy absorbed by everybody's drawing you know I am I'm working then I do my online courses I have to do my videos for YouTube which I'm very happy to do now I'm thinking to go on Twitch how many things should I do <laughs> no come on guys no don't ask me too much uh, oh sorry I, I meant Discord ah you mean Discord no Discord no 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 Discord no no let your Twitch channel with YouTube uh, yeah I think that that's possible Adam you're right sadly not sorry in my region for Twitch okay but anyway I will tell you I don't abandon my schedule my weekly schedule on YouTube not at all this is my half okay I am thinking maybe also to go and check on the other side if there is something interesting that's all that's what I'm thinking but maybe it's not necessary uh, sir can you post your song in SoundCloud uh, Ishant I'm thinking to make I have to uh, uh, record better I have to use the right microphone so I'm it's not that easy uh i will i will do but anyway uh if you go on uh you on youtube there is luciano bobby music and also on instagram you can follow me there and you will see my videos of me playing okay michelangelo you can stream in twitch and youtube at the same time it would be very nice for this channel uh okay and and to do the same time how do i do because when i because I, I checked that when I use OBS, OBS asks me only Twitch or YouTube, only one channel, not both. Because YouTube is on all devices, phone, TV, time to follow you. On Twitch, I have to sit in front of a PC. Ah, Ariana, I didn't know. Thank you. I didn't know that Twitch is only on PC. Yeah, because it's for gamers. You're right. But anyway, if I can put the two things together, then it might be interesting. What do you think? But Ariana is right. Okay, well, you know what, guys and girls? Thank you very much. I think that uh, my life is over. Now I'm a little tired. It's uh, more than an hour and a half we are together live i i we, we we talk about a lot of things we went from car sketching and modeling sections alias clay explain a little bit that process and also in terms of professionality professions how people could eventually recycle in that type of job which is not bad at all and takes you very close to the design environment uh and uh, epiphone okay Andrew, that's very nice epiphone. I have an epiphone. It's the black one there. You see? That one black is an epiphone. It's an epiphone lepo. But I have a real lepo just behind the furniture, the bookshelf. I have a real Gibson. Yeah. US uh, split to Twitch. Are you split to Twitch? Ah, split. Split with a d x split i have to write this down so not anymore so i don't have to use obs every day something changes okay uh let me see uh x split okay i go and check it out thanks okay all right thank you very much your last chance to send me a coffee with a super sticker or a super chat all right Thank you very much for being with me. Have a very good weekend. Have a good one with your families or alone or whatever, with your girlfriends or boyfriends. Sketch, sketch, sketch. Don't forget, next Tuesday we will be here. Next Friday we will be here at the same time. Tuesday we'll be sketching together. Friday we will be talking about design talk insights. And as I said at the beginning, there is a new sketch. Uh, that uh, soon 
will be revealed in a full video tutorial on my channel okay all right thank you ciao i will put again the music before saying goodbye all right okay Thank you, Adam. Thanks. Cool. Ciao, Andrew. Buon fine settimana a te. Ciao a tutti gli italiani che sono stati con me. Eh? Ciao, Giacarta, Vulcano, Vulcano Noir. Bye bye. Adam, ciao, grazie. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye bye to all India. Ciao, Charlie. Thank you very much. Thank you. Double thank you to you, my friend. Ciao, Nuk. Ciao, Phil. Ciao. Ci vediamo. See you Tuesday. Bye. Ciao, Michelangelo. Thank you. You too. You too, Michelangelo. Have a good weekend. Ciao Arianna, grazie. Bye. Bonne nuit, ciao. Bye.